Hey you guys, this is Steven from Steven Gaming TV and today I'm going to show you how to use the user interface inside of GDevelop. So before we start, I want you to know, I want you to know that you are now inside of a tutorial playlist. There was an introduction tutorial before this and there will be more tutorials after this. So check out youtube.com slash user slash Steven Gaming TV for the rest of the tutorials. So right now let's go on ahead and make a new project. Um, let's just click on that excuse me let's make a new project by clicking on file clicking on new over here and we are going to be taken with this pop-up right here so this pop-up basically asks us what kind of project we want to make so if you want to make a native game or an html5 game some html5 games cannot do cannot have some things that native games have for example particle systems or something else like that so for now let's choose html5 and choose platformer on the right right here you have a, a set of templates that you can use if you want to make a game based on a template or if you want to study those templates or you can make an empty project for now let's choose platformer we are not gonna change the project path but here you can pretty much change the project path by clicking over here and specifying which path you want okay let's just cancel this over here let's create a new project by creating the new project by clicking on the create the new project button over here my tongue almost twisted takes some time but it loads finally on the left you have the project manager don't be uh don't be overwhelmed by all of this all of these things right here i'm gonna explain what they all mean and you are gonna know how to use those if you keep on watching my videos because i'm gonna make i'm gonna cover everything about them later on this is the project manager on the left right here here is where you manage your project here is where you add new scenes which means that here is where you add new levels inside of your game level one level two level three this in the middle is your level it's your scene and inside of a scene you have the scene editor or the event editor and I'm gonna explain that later on you have the objects editor on the, on the right the objects editor is where you edit your objects always obviously you can also group your objects and here is where you can right click and click on edit and open up the sprite editor where you edit the sprites here is also where you can see a list of all of your objects that the game uh, that the frame is using you can drag new objects inside of your game just by dragging and dropping it like that inside of the scene right now on the top right here you have these set of icons sometimes these may differ from what you are seeing on my screen and that is because every time you click on a portion of your scene it's gonna change okay every time you click on something it's gonna change and that is also because it is grouped into small tabs if you have used microsoft word you're gonna know what i'm talking about so it is grouped into small tabs it's gonna be on the top right here and if you don't see it just browse it on the top right here or click on side of your project window just according to the tutorial you're following you have this thing right here which allows you to preview your game and this makes it stop makes the preview stop that is inside of the scene tab okay we're gonna explain all of this inside of the next video for now just follow along this over here is the scene editor if you don't see that if you don't see your scene editor if you don't see the scene right here, you're probably inside of another level because a scene is a level remember that or you're probably inside of the start page you just click over here and click on scene because you're probably inside of the event editor as well this is the scene editor it's where you do your level design it's where you edit your level add more enemies add more coins to the level it's where you place your main character wherever you want it when you want him to be placed excuse me and that's pretty much it about the scene editor over here we have the events editor the events editor is where you do all of the events okay it's where all of your game mechanism all of your game logic and visual programming will happen 
if you want the player to die if he is stepping on a lava then you just program it inside of here you just do something simple like check if player is colliding with lava destroy player it's something very simple like that don't be amazed and um, astounded or overwhelmed by this right here i know it looks complicated but i'm gonna explain all of these to you in the next set of tutorials don't worry okay i'm here with you and that's pretty much it for the user interface that's pretty much everything you need to know if you got lost on some point just repeat the video over and over because i'm trying to explain it like you're five years old actually you're probably not five years old but yeah i'm trying to explain it, it uh, in a simple way over here and explain that so to recap project manager where you add new levels scene editor is where you add your scene and where you edit your level objects editor is where you can drag your objects inside of the scene and on the top right here you can preview your scene by clicking on scene and preview and if you want to edit the sprites you go right click over here and edit and down here we have the events editors where you do the game programming the game's logic so it's as simple as that thank you for watching and please watch the next set of tutorials if you're serious about developing games with gdevelop like if you liked it subscribe if you want to i don't you don't want you don't have to and dislike if you disliked it and tell me how i can get better so that these tutorials are getting better thank you